Good afternoon, everybody. I am doing another um, cook with me tutorial on a very simple comfort food, pepper steak and rice and macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to be using the original shells and cheese. So cheesy. I got from my local grocery store, Save a Lot. I went to C-Town and I got Beef Chuck Pepper Steak USA. Um, we'll make three of these. I'm not doing the homemade gravy. I'm using canned gravy, Campbell's beef gravy. I'm using three cans of these. I've got my assortment of peppers, yellow, red, and orange. And then um, I have my Fiesta blend from Stop and Shop, which is the onions, red peppers, and green peppers. So I'm going to put that in there. As it pertains to seasonings, I'm going to be using Maggie's beef seasoning and Grace Caribbean ginger garlic pimento. I think I said that right. I might have said it wrong. If I said it wrong, yeah, tell me in the comment section. Um, and then my husband and I, we have an all-purpose seasoning that we mix ourselves. So I'm going to use my all-purpose seasoning also. Um, I have rice. So yesterday, my husband made country ribs and he barbecued them but what he does is he boils the ribs first before he seasons them throw in the oven put barbecue sauce on it so the juice that he used to boil his ribs in I use that juice to make my rice so my rice is beef flavored rice so the rice is already done um, I know a lot of people say when it comes to meats, they're already clean. You can open them up and fresh out this pack, put it in the oven. I think that's I think that's disgusting. So I am going to clean this with apple cider vinegar. I got a big container, apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna clean my meat, then I'm gonna come back over to the stove and I'm gonna fry it. After I fry it, I'm going to saute the onions and the peppers inside of it, mix it all together. Once it's fried to, to perfection, then I'm going to kick it up a notch, throw my beef gravy in it, mix it all together, marry all of them into this pot, let it simmer, start my macaroni and cheese. My macaroni and cheese is going to be very quick and simple, and then I'm going to show you guys what the end results are. So, sit back, relax, and grab a snack as I do what I got to do. Um, as if y'all don't know, my husband is an essential worker, so I try to make sure he has something hearty and healthy and filling when he comes back from work. So, um, I'm going to make enough for myself and the children to eat too, but that's what I'm doing on today. Let me get my frying pan together. And I'm going to use about a quarter. A quarter ounce of oil in my frying pan. So I'm gonna let that warm up while I prepare the other stuff to be washed. Clean my meat. 
As y'all know, I have the Fiesta blend. Whatever I don't use in this Fiesta blend, I am going to put back in the freezer. And what I do is I cut up my vegetables and throw it in this plastic container and reserve it for when I need it. Because what I used to do is put it in the refrigerator and within like two to three days, all my stuff was spoiled. So I don't do that anymore. When you know better, you do better. So what I do now is I cut up all my vegetables as I need them. And then what I don't need, I reserve and throw it in the freezer. And when I need it, it's already cut up. I could just take it out of my Fiesta pack and I can use it. Um, I'm not putting stuff on the floor. I actually have my trash can next to my leg. If you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm going to go rinse these off real quick. So anybody who knows my mama and my grandmama, they were excellent cooks. And they passed it on to the rest of their daughters. My Aunt Pam is a beast. My Aunt Linda was a really good cook. My Aunt Hazel was a really good cook. But my favorite of them all was my big mama. Because of Renissa is a great cook. So, um, I got it honest. Cooking is in my blood. So, I love to cook. Um, Cooking is my love language to my family. I don't know what your love language may be, but cooking is mine. Yeah. I'm going to cook it up on a dish. I'm going to put a little bit in at a time, and then I'm going to let it fry. And then when this batch is done, I'm going to do a second batch. But yeah, cooking is my mom's language to my family. So, put an extra dose of love. And everything that I do for them. It's okay to go out to eat every once in a while, but 
when somebody actually stands behind the stove and is slaving and cooking and prepping and all of that good stuff. You can feel how much they love you to do all of that for you. Because they really ain't got to do it. So if they choose to do it, A little bit of brown sage. Just a little bit. And this is my new flavor. So as that's cooking, I'm gonna slice this up. <coughs> My grandmother is a southern male who happened to raise my mama. And my mama is the baby girl of my grandmama's 12 children. So I came from a very large family and we used to get together, cook together, have cookouts, family get togethers. All of those wonderful things. And I've always was the niece that was in the mix with all of the aunties. They was cooking, I was tasting. <laughs> Especially when my Aunt Pam would make her delicious, delicious. She makes this um, vegetable rice. Oh, Jesus. A little bit of heaven right here on earth. And she makes delicious um, bakery stuff. So, I always, always, always enjoy being able to ask for the spoon. My Uncle Earl makes the best banana pudding on this side of heaven. Listen, let me tell you. You want some delicious banana pudding? That's the man with the plan. The Lord broke the mold when he made that one. He is excellent, excellent, excellent. And I always love going to the corner store with my Uncle Duck. Get me a sub or a beef patty with cheese on a hard roll. And uh, always something I look forward to. Now that I am an adult, I refer back to those things that I learned over the years and try to share those same principles with my children. My family. You're cooking like your husband here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? I said you're cooking like your husband is. Yeah. So this is a very delicious, very simple, fulfilling dish. Um, the winter is still here. Corona is still here. So we can't really go out to restaurants the way we used to. So it behooves you to be able to cook. Thank God I got a wife that can cook. And uh, be able to feed your family I was fasting and praying. some healthy and scrumptious food. Because your favorite restaurant may not be part of DoorDash. Well. And your favorite restaurant may not have what you need during the hours that you're available to get it. You know, people are working from home and some people are essential and actually have to go out. Well. And you don't want to put yourself at risk. Mm -hmm. Just for some food. Mm. But if you can cook yourself, you're halfway there. My, God. My grandma used to tell me, if you feed a, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for one day. 
But if you teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. And I think that's a um, Cherokee Proverbs. Because I've, I've seen the quote a couple of different places and different times in my life. And it's so true. So you'll see different random videos with myself and my husband and kids. And we all come together and we cook. And uh, it's a very good principle to have. Cooking skills. So, I like to have my vegetables cut into small pieces. I don't make big, big chunks. So, if you like yours chunkier, do it chunkier. It's your food, that's your business. But I like mine smaller, so it's a little time consuming, but it's going to be worth it. And it's time for me to eat. So, the steak is coming out pretty good. Shortly it'll be time for me to add my onions. So I got onions orange peppers, red peppers, green peppers, and yellow peppers. Um, I should put some jalapenos in there. That's something I haven't done before. I'll experiment with mine. I won't put it in everybody else's. Oh, them jalapenos go in. Um, the grass is Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Do something different. I always cook it the same way. Okay. All things in moderation. <clears throat> That's what I was telling you. I had to get a different type of steak because the steak that I usually get, <laughs> they have sold out. Everybody acting like it's Y2K. They got to buy up everything. And people don't even cook that much. Buying okay. up everything like that. But, God bless you. Okay. Mm. Nice and tender. All right, I got six little pieces. Not too much, just enough to add a small little kick. I don't want it extra spicy. Jalapeno, um, kick it up a notch. What I like to do when I make my food. Now, if you have fresh jalapenos, you are more than welcome to use fresh jalapenos. I don't. I only have these in the jar, so I'm going to use what I got. Mm -hmm. This is going to be so delicious when I finally saute it all together. Jalapenos, onions, peppers.
Mm. That tastes so good. Mm, 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 mm. I love these flavors. All oh, mixed up together. So I turned my heat up a little bit more. So now my heat on my stove is at a number eight. So I want it to actually fry this ground beef. And after it fries this one, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it in another pot. And I'm going to put it in the next batch. This is going to be for macaroni and cheese being made next. Um, while I'm waiting, I'm going to cut up the rest of these peppers. Because I could take these. Put them in the freezer. So that that dish that I'm making, I already have it. The only thing I gotta do is just take it out and season my food with it. I got this little knife from the dollar store, but I absolutely love it. It's nice and sharp. I don't know where you guys buy yacht guys at, but. I was pleasantly surprised when I found this little knife at the Dollar Tree. It's nice and sharp. And it's very convenient and easy to use. So. Then we chop these up. I'm get done with this. It'll be time for me to um, switch, transfer the steak on the pan into the pot that I'm going to put the gravy in. And then I have to do the next batch. So I'll take my onions and my peppers. Looking good, looking good. That's the way I like it. Oh my god, give me a second. Here. best to leave as much oil as I can in the pan for the next batch of steak that I'm going to put in here from the sink that I have cleaned and Once again, like I did before, I am going to season this. Anybody who's coming on to this video late, I season my meat. I put a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan. Put some of my 
all purpose here. Up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. This bag can add just a pinch. I'm going to put jalapenos in it, so I don't want it to um, ruin it too much. Mm -hmm. Get this nice and fried steak. So delicious. Mm -hmm. So I dice my vegetables and when I'm cutting them up, I cut them up into slices. And then when I need them, at my leisure, I um, take them out and use them appropriately. I need to learn how to plant this stuff because I could be... <laughs> Excuse me, going into my own garden, like my Aunt Pam, and get my own vegetable instead of going to the grocery store all the time. My Aunt Pam has a beautiful, beautiful garden. All types of vegetables, cabbage, and onions, and peppers. And I believe she had tomatoes at one time. And she has a Green thumb. I've never tried. I don't even know if I have a green thumb. I know my mother has a green thumb too. She had this huge, 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 huge plant that went all the way around the dog on living room and the dining room. Huge. My grandmother had a green thumb. God rest her soul. So, swervel. So, we're almost there, guys. I got the water boiling and my macaroni and cheese. What's up, guys? Um, cutting up my peppers. And almost done. Y'all see a little boy chopped up in this. Don't be surprised. That's just my son's swirl. Disclaimer. She's playing. Yes, disclaimer. I would never cut my son. Don't call CPS on me. My son is loved. I wouldn't hurt a hair on his chinny chin chin. Oh, this smells so delicious, guys, I declare. Trying to be concluded, though. Just sit down and call them a name.
last batch of our steak start frying. I'm gonna throw the onions in there, start sauteing them. I just wanna make sure they're fully cooked. Mm -hmm. I put my big foot up, my big toe in that one. My husband's behind the camera tasting the food. <laughs> um, Move this cutting board up the way. That's the last one. If you are new coming to the channel, welcome to my channel. My channel is filled with health and beauty, tutorials, lookbooks, family vlogs. So if you are interested in any of those things, please subscribe. Hit that like, that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Family oriented young lady, she loves her family. We do a couple of challenges. A couple of my kids be pranking me. I don't do pranks. I'm not good at pranks. But my kids are good at pranks, so got some pranks in the works. Um, and if there's content that you would like for me to add to my channel that you haven't seen, please let me know. Give me some great ideas in the um section. I want to see you kiss your husband. You're going to learn today. I will consider and um, mm -hmm. add that to my channel. She, she don't want to break the limbs. Alright, this is the last of the peppers. Oh, wow. Next time we need some peppers. We gotta go to the grocery store. I forgot it already. Hey, Thank you. Alright, so that's all done. Beautiful rainbow. All the peppers. All my onions are gone. This is just the peppers. Did we use the container? that in the Starting to come to an end. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna have to pull up my camera. Um, I'm going to now open up my can of beef brains.
So here's the fry. And I'll put that in there. This is two pans. Really not that much gravy, so I'm going to add one more can to it. I don't think it's enough. This is going to be so, so good. Just like the Campbell commercial. Oh, mm, oh, mm, good. When I make a meal like this, I don't expect any leftovers. Family usually comes back for seconds. So, I got to get in where I fit in. We like thick gravy, so I'm only going to put a half a can of water in here and just to mess out what's in the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to marry these two together. out with smell of vision all of you techno people I hope y'all watching my video come out with smell of vision so the people can smell at home how delicious this smooth this food be smelling oh, mouth watering finger licking good just the thing Jalapenos, onions, orange peppers, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers. I'm going to turn this down because I don't need it up high anymore. Okay, that sizzle. That means the pan is ready. Garlic. 
almost forgot. Shame on me. Just a teeny bit. But that's a teeny bit goes a long way. That little mince garlic is a must have. Whatever. I'm cooking. and the peppers and the garlic, the jalapenos. Talk about your tongue having a party. Oh, Jesus. There's a party in my tummy. There's a party in my tummy. A party in my tummy. I'm definitely eating. Oh, I'm excited. This is a beautiful array. Let me give that another minute. I'm going to throw away all of this stuff. Take this stuff to put away in a second. I just want it to soften a little bit. Once the onions start getting translucent, then that's when I know it's time to put it all together. Right. My onions are translucent. I'm going to throw that back on the stove. together with that Campbell beef gravy. I tell you, be smelling like Sunday morning. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Just a little bit, little bit, little bit of salt. Just a tad bit. But this is good. But I want it to be even better. So, I have my all purpose salt in there. And when it comes to you, you see your food to your taste. I know what the family and I enjoy. So, that's what I do as it pertains to me, but you like to spend the Lord, you could use you. Okay. All right now. That's the way it's supposed to be. Now, I'm going to let that simmer for a second, and I'm going to finish up the macaroni and cheese now. make traditional macaroni and cheese. The baked macaroni and cheese. But on a day like today where I have a million things to do, 
I ain't got time to be making no big metal in the cheek. So, this box macaroni and cheese will do for today. And if you want it to be creamier, you could always add your own sharp cheddar and butter. And it's a bit. Mexican four cheese black and shop and shop. A little bit of sargento mix. Um, put this on low. Yes, sir. Oh, 
salt and black pepper. Can you look in the other room and see if you see it? It's not in here. I bought it earlier. I'm going to let my husband dip the salt. Oh, it's on the counter. You want me to bring it in? Thank you. Oh, oh Jesus. Where did you put the jalapenos? Inside the oven. Oh, that's chopped. Let me put it inside the oven. Is this ours or yours? This for everybody. I'm saying well, with jalapeno, was it the one already open? No, know. that's uh, the one in my fridge. Oh, I got some. You put a lot? Nope. If you want extra, you can add yours to your personal Is it going to be spicy? You got to taste it next time? Yeah, taste it. Here, taste it. Not really that spicy. It's just like a spicy aftertaste. Oh, yeah, now I'm starting to taste it. The aftertaste, not the main. You put cayenne? Yes. I like it harder. That's fine. You don't like your style? No. At least you put it in there, so. I put cayenne in here. Season of salt and pepper. That looks good. Onions and peppers and how to peel this. And now it is done. So. Nice. Wait, when, when is it going to be done? It's done right now. So, I can make a plate? Yep, wash your hands, you can make a plate. Uh -huh. and then you can let the people know how you feel about it. So now we finna eat. I'm going to let my son make a plate. Taste mm -hmm. it. While you make your plate, open up that one and then just stretch your hand across. Juice left from it. So, get your forks out. I'm going to buy some forks while I'm I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you will be notified the next time I upload a new video. Until next time, peace.